Hello boys and girls. Today's lesson is going to be a multi-step lesson and we're going to explore Google Maps and then we're going to take the information that we gather from Google Maps and we're going to put it into a presentation in our Google Drive. So to begin, it's rather fun and rather easy. It's just you have to pay attention. To begin, you open up a new tab and you go into your apps button. We've also called that the waffle in the past. Mine's located at the top. Yours is probably at the bottom left-hand corner. Once you go into your apps, you're going to look for something that says Google Maps. I don't see it here, so I'm going to click more. Here it is, Maps. Google Maps is an amazing tool that helps you find locations anywhere in the world, and it also can map you from one place to another. Today, we're going to start off by looking up Auburn Elementary School so I can show you the different features or some of the features that you can use. So I'm just going to type Auburn Elementary School and there it is, it popped right up. I'm going to click on it. And at first you get the map view. And the school is pinned right here. You can see that this is Midland Street and this is Park Street, which is the side street that our buses park on. But what I also like about this is you can see a street view. Right here is a picture of our beautiful school. If you click on it, you see the street view. Give it a second to focus. Once it's focused, you can see the media center. If you click, it'll um, adjust left or right. Now, I also like these diagonal views. You can rotate the view. So I'm going to click the arrow once, and it shows the street view and it shows Midland Avenue toward the high school and middle school. If I click it again, it shows across the street to the pharmacy. That's what we look out at of our media windows. If I click it again, it shows me the neighborhood behind the school, the houses, and Midland Road going toward Bay City. And this gets us back to our original view. So I think that that's um, fun to look at. And you can explore and look at your home address too after you finish the lesson. Then I'd like you to click the back arrow. And now we're going to map a fun destination. Let's pretend like we're going on a field trip together to Michigan Adventures. We'll pretend like it's sunny, 80 degrees outside, and we got your parents' permission to take you to Michigan Adventures for the day. So we need to let our bus driver know how to get there. So we're going to map it out. Up in Google Maps, do you see where it says directions? I'm gonna click on that. And I'm gonna type in Michigan Adventures. And it just pops up, it's right there. And it tells me it will take us two hours and 35 minutes to get there, and it's 129 miles. And here is the map that tells us what directions to take to get all the way to Michigan Adventures. Now, if you click on list all steps, it gives a more detailed view of exactly where to turn, exactly what road to take all the way there. And here it is, head south on White Hill Road toward Riley. Well, this looks like it's taking us the opposite way. I'm gonna rotate that. That's another feature I want to point out. It's taking us from Michigan Adventures to Auburn Elementary. I need it to do the opposite. So I'm gonna click on these arrows to reverse the directions. Here we go. And this gives us the directions from Auburn Elementary, but it's still the same amount of miles and the same amount of time. Boys and girls, to have fun with this today, on your tables are listed a bunch of fun destinations in the state of Michigan that you can choose one from. Today, I would like you to use these same steps and map out, pretending like you're going on a field trip from Auburn Elementary to your destination. I want you to write down or keep track of how many miles it takes to get to your destination and how long it takes to get there. Then I would like you to open up a new tab and go into your Google Drive by clicking on the Apps key, clicking on Drive. We've been working a lot in Google Docs. Today we're going to explore Google Presentations. So we're gonna go into new because we're all in experience the new drive. And under new, I believe presentations is actually even called something different. Let's take a look. It is called Google Slides. 
So we're going to go into the yellow. So instead of red, blue, like we've been doing, we're going to do red, yellow. We're going into Google Slides. When you first click on Google Slides, it's going to give you an option for a background. You can pick any background that you want for this sample slide. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to choose color strip. I click OK. And actually, that's actually called the theme of the slide. Now, I'm going to click in the title and say Field Trip to Michigan Adventures. And then I'm going to center that by clicking on the align button in the center. And then I'm going to simply put how many miles it takes to get there from Google Maps and the distance. So I'm going to toggle back to my Google Maps. It takes 128 miles. And I'm also going to list how long it will take, 2 hours and 35 minutes. Now, boys and girls, you can customize this slide in any way that you want by changing the font, the colors. Make sure that you always give your slide a title, just like we did in Docs. And I'm going to call this Michigan Adventures. And you can also put a picture in the same way that we have been doing. You can click on a new tab. Go to Images. Go to Michigan, Adventure, maybe the rides. Now it looks like a neat picture. I'm going to click on my picture, slide it up to my slides, and then slide it down. It gives a very colorful image. Voila. Boys and girls, hopefully you'll have fun today. If you finish your slides, you can take a few moments and go back into Google Maps and explore, maybe type in your home address and have some fun with it.